Hi guys, in today's tutorial I would like to talk about monostable circuits because I want to show you some basic circuits that I am using quite often in my redstone builds so you can use them in your redstone creations as well and a monostable circuit is definitely one of those. You may now ask what is a monostable circuit, it's also known as an edge detector which is then a little bit more clear because what this does is that it searches for jumps in a redstone signal. A jump can happen when a signal goes from 0 to 1, so from off to on, or from on to off. And over here I've got it set up with a simple end gate, um, because this actually is nothing else but a comparison is the signal on and off at two different times. We can see that we've got the same line here, and we're checking if the line inverted with 5 ticks delay, and um, is on and uh, the line just with two ticks delay and if I press this button here you can see that this is only true when the line turns off because then the delay is in the right moment so this detects for a falling edge while when the inverted signal comes first and then the uh, not inverted signal then you can see it turns on or off for a short moment when um, I press the button and the signal turns on. So this is the basic idea of these uh, designs. There are plenty of designs, but I just want to feature a few that I think are quite important. So the first one here, most of you will know, I'm pretty sure, because this is what you also can use to create one tick puzzles. It's just a sticky piston underneath a block where we put the redstone signal into. We don't have to do it with the button here. It can be just a line that comes from here and then the button is here. And this will create a one tick puzzle. One tick puzzles are sometimes not the thing that you need. You might need a longer delay on this, but that is pretty simple to change because you can just change the delay of this repeater. And now we've got a four tick pulse on the rising edge, so uh, that is if you need a signal when a signal turns on. If you need a signal that uh, activates when you turn something off, then you can use this here, which I use for years already now, and I still think it's the best design to use when you need a falling edge. So we can see that we've got redstone line here, and we just put that into this three repeaters. What this does is that it first locks this repeater here in uh, the off state. And this one, since it has two ticks, will still have the power once this one releases this repeater off the uh, locked state. And so for one tick, the signal can travel through. The signal length in the end is defined by the um, yeah, if you subtract uh, the two repeaters over here, so this is one tick because this is one tick more than this one, but this, for example, would give you a three tick pulse in the output. And you can also put this into a four tick repeater to make it a four tick pulse if you need to. But this is the design that I highly recommend for a falling edge detector. Now, what if we need both? We need a falling and a rising edge. We could combine those two together, or we could also use something that I've got set up over here which is a piston with a redstone block in front because when the redstone block is moving it will not power the redstone line and so we can see that the torch blinks up twice once when the redstone block extends and once when it uh, retracts so this is a dual edge detector and may be useful when you need to detect the rising and the falling edge um, but in general, these three designs here will give you some good um, circuits for the monostable circuits. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.